so this is Parc Lagrange. This is where my run took me today. And this is the first run of the year. And it's in preparation for the anti-gel run tomorrow. Hello folks, so here I am again with another video vlog. This is the first run of the year and the first run in the month, the first run this week and the first run in 2020, the new decade. So this kicks off my running goal that is to participate in a run at least once a month, to participate in a popular run, official once a month. I have one tomorrow, so it is a bit late to start to train for it, but you know, I'm taking it slow, I'm taking it easy, and so this will be, um, yeah, my first run of the year, of the week, of this new month, and of this new decade. So I am in the Parc Lagrange. La Parc Lagrange is said to be the biggest, to hold the biggest rose garden in the whole of Europe. Of course right now you don't see the roses because they're not in bloom but I'll do a quick run around before I go back but I wanted to document that I have officially began my practice runs towards participation in a popular run official at least once every month and today therefore kicks off this goal the running goal and this ties into the broader goal of being physically fit healthy and wealthy because like I said your your health is your wealth and to be happy your being healthy can contribute towards happiness you know it gets all the happy feel-good hormones triggering whether it's the dopamine oxytocin um, what's the other um, adrenaline new adrenaline name it the moment you start to move your body the moment you start to exercise the moment you start to physically be active it tells on your whole body it gives your skin a glow and a young glow it helps with the elasticity of your skin uh, and then of course with the with the hair and then especially if you practice a physical activity outdoors you get your dose of vitamin D which interacts with vitamin E, which has an influence on your skin and the elasticity of your skin. And if you are embarking on any learning journey, you will know that physical activity also helps build, you know, the, the memory. So this ties into another goal that is to learn something new. So in any case, um, the goal today was to run 10 kilometers. I don't know whether I have done that, but I think I'll do a quick run around the, the park and then I'll make my way back towards work. So this is something that I'm doing. Oops. This is something that I'm doing during my lunch time because it seems to be the most convenient opportunity and moment to, to do so because when I try to do it afterwards, it doesn't always work. So now I'm going to kick off my run. You know, I see there is somebody uh, walking here. You know, I, much as I love to run, I do think that it's important to keep safe and that even while I like to run in nature and everything, I do always keep in, I do always keep in mind safety and security. So I just don't go into the forest and the woods like some people do and just start running wild. No, I check out the environment first and I make sure that it is safe. And I always look around and make sure that I feel safe when I do my runs out in the nature. So I am going to do a, a quick ra run round. I will give you a little take of what it's, what it's like here. And then I'll, I'll then end the vlog and then go back to the office. So right now, I'm going to give you a view of La Parc Lagrange here in Geneva. It's on the, you know, I'm never so sure. Is it the left bank or the right bank of the river? 
uh, I just I think it's a right bank but I'm not sure but I give you a view of, of this place there is this restaurant over here which is very well known Le Restaurant du Pac de, des Eaux Vives and it's I'm not sure it's a five star hotel but it's part of the Metropole Hotel and voila so I'm going to flip the camera over for you to see my surroundings. So just hold on. So this is my view. I'll take you from here. So you see over there, there is the lake, the Lake of Geneva. I'm in the Parc La Grange. I haven't branched, put on the microphone because you know, it's raining and there may be interference, but I wanted to give you a view of my location over there in the background behind the tree is a restaurant hotel i think it's a five star but i'm not sure but i know that it is managed by the same group that managed the metropole hotel which is a five star so this is my view and this is my playground today for my to kick off my running season i have to make sure that i'm not um, putting my finger over the microphone because I don't have a microphone here so I'm going to continue with my run and then before I start running again I will I will I will sign off formally and finally and I'll see you in my next vlog so just wait for me to do the last segment of this vlog signing off officially and then then we can say our final goodbyes so i do these vlogs not to tell people how to keep fit and healthy but to share my personal story which actually is a story of continuous struggle really continuous struggle because it's not easy for me to get, pick myself up and to start to run it's easier on some days than it is on others but it is a struggle and so I try to document this struggle so that sometimes when I really really cannot do you know when I cannot run I look at these videos and they motivate me they get me to sort of you know keep my butt and get me up and get me running again so I'm walking towards this building um, I think this is the hotel, but it may not be. I could be wrong. Maybe the hotel is somewhere else. But what I do know is tomorrow will be the, I don't know, is it the 15th anti-gel run? I need to check that out. Anyway, I'll do the correction when I'm editing the video but tomorrow the anti-gel run will take place here and this will be the meeting place so tomorrow I'll be here and of course I'll bring you along with me to show you where and how the anti-gel is done I did do so last year but last year I wasn't so comfortable about vlogging and you know in public and stuff like that so I think I didn't do a great job at it but now that I'm so comfortable and I wouldn't care less how people think or view my vlogging in public so I think they are starting preparations for the anti-gel that's why you have all these tracks so tomorrow I'll be here to participate in my second anti-gel but I think maybe it could be I'm not sure is it the 18th the 19th I have to check it out and I'll stick it um, as a correction while I edit this and after I have found out you know um, basically the correct edition of the anti-gel run but tomorrow I'll be here I'll give you a final view of the Parc La Grange where the anti-gel run will take place tomorrow and so therefore i will i'll stop the vlog here i'll continue my run when i get to the jet d'eau the water jet which is a very famous landmark in geneva 
Switzerland. I'll stop to sign off, do a, a last segment of the vlog, sign off before I go back to work. So I'll see you in a bit. Until then, do take care. And if you're on your own journey to keep fit, to keep happy, healthy, and like I said, wealthy because your health is indeed your wealth. Without your health, you can do nothing. All your big, big, big dreams have to be delegated to someone else. And it's not like you doing it yourself. So this is why I say your health is indeed your wealth. So anyway, I will sign off here. And for now and then, we'll talk again later. So until then, do take care. Bye. So folks, like I said, this is during my lunch time it is raining it's 17 of january 2020 this is my first run in the year in the new year in the new decade in the new month of january i have a run tomorrow and of course um ideally it's best if i do my practice runs well before but i haven't but at least i have done this today and i felt comfortable so i think i should be fine tomorrow in my first 10k run of the year of the month and of this new decade and so if you are on your own journey to be physically fit healthy and happy then i encourage you to to make your walk or your objective fun and motivating by rediscovering your town rediscovering your your village rediscovering your location so through my runs and my walks i rediscovered geneva where i am here as a foreigner working for an international organization and i'm just so happy I'm so blessed, you know, to be in this country, to have the opportunities that I have, and to work with the most prestigious organization in the world, which is the United Nations. And so through my walks and my runs, and participating in popular runs, I try to discover and learn about the culture, the history, the geography, you know, of this country. So on this note, I'm going to sign off and I'm going to um, do the last lap of my run back to the office. But like I said, I did it during lunchtime. And so this is a good time to be able to practice your sportive activity. And so I will therefore see you tomorrow at the... Um, at the I don't know, second edition of the anti gel run for me, but it could be the 19th, I don't know. I'm yet to find out, but like I said, when I do edit this vlog, I will let you know. So on this note, I'm going to sign off. My nose is running, my face is all sweaty, and so probably this is a good time to sign out because uh, it will make a very pretty picture, but it's a pretty picture because it tells that this is a woman who's serious about her physical activity and keeping fit and healthy and happy and whatever the cost, you know, it may not be aesthetically the right look she would like, but in the end it will pay off on the overall look. So on this note, I will sign off and I invite you to share comments on your physical activity journey i'll also ask you to subscribe to this channel if you want to know about my adventures here in geneva switzerland and if you know how i'm progressing on my physical fitness uh, journey and goal for 2020 and if you'd like to know more about what i do in the 